Hey there, Canonites. Welcome back to Halo Canon. It's March, and it's as good a time as any to start talking about E3. As has been reported over the internet the last month and a half or so, there's big news coming to this year's Electronic Entertainment Expo. Anyway, I thought, since I have a YouTube channel this year, it might be fun to make some predictions surrounding what might be announced and speculate about the Halo stories that might be coming to light this year. Without further ado, let's get psychic. Because, you know, it's, you know, predicting, like, precognition. To start, let's get the obvious out of the way. Halo 5. We know that Halo Xbox One will be, in the words of Phil Spencer, a legitimate version of Halo. At E3 last year, 343 General Manager Bonnie Ross came on stage to talk about the next entry in the Reclaimer saga, noting that it will run at 60 frames per second and feature dedicated servers. To me, this screams that Halo Xbox One will be a sequel to Halo 4 and a main entry Halo title. Why 343 isn't calling it Halo 5 is still a mystery, but the most speculated reason is that post-Halo 4 games will be named titles. Think Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. So, what can we expect from this new entry? To start, I think it's safe to bet that we'll be introduced to more Spartan 2s. Back in 2012, it was confirmed that Blue Team, Fred, Linda, and Kelly would appear in the Reclaimer Saga. Could Halo 5 be the game that really brings in the expanded universe? Crazy speculation, with three new Spartans potentially in the mix, could Halo 5 be like Halo 3 where co-op partners are actual characters? In this case, the surviving Spartan 2s. Next up, the Didact will be returning, though based on what we know, he won't be the main villain like in Halo 4. So, does this mean that Jewel and Dama will take the front seat, or will something else take the limelight? 343 has certainly been developing the Flood and the Precursors with the recent Forerunner books. Could the Flood be returning bigger and badder than before? It may mean nothing, but the inclusion of a Flood co-op mode in the Council version of Spartan Assault seems to imply yes. The Chief is in hiding, though from who or what is unknown. Is he hiding from the Didact, the New Covenant? Or as some have speculated, Oni. According to Spartan Scruggs in Escalation, no one has heard from the Chief since his debriefing post-Halo 4. Is the Chief AWOL, or is he on a secret mission of some kind? Finally, the setting. All signs, to me at least, are pointing towards the Ark being one of the major locations for the next Halo game. Let's hope that E3 will confirm where the Chief is in the Halo Xbox One debut trailer. Next, while E3 is primarily about gaming, I think there's a good chance we'll get some news regarding the Halo TV series. So, what can we expect? Assuming the series hasn't premiered by the time of E3, I think we'll finally get a proper trailer, one that introduces us to the main characters and the setting. Speaking of characters and setting, what can we expect in those regards? I think it's safe to assume that the Halo TV series will be set in the post-Human Covenant War era. I know a number of fans would love to see the TV series follow the training and growth of the Spartan 2s, to which I would refer anyone to the statement I made in the Battle of Reach timeline. Reach of the sort already exists in the book. Why we tell the same story twice? That's stupid. For characters, I think we could see Spartan Team Blue, basically find out what they've been up to since breaking out of Trevelyan, or Spartan Team Majestic. Hell, maybe we'll even see a new set of characters. Anything could happen. I know some people would want me to speculate on the possibility of a Halo 2 anniversary, but I still highly doubt that it would happen. However, if it did, I think it would probably be very similar to Halo CEA, featuring reskinned environments and characters, updated musical scores, an updated skull system like CEA or Halo 3, and terminals. Maybe even a Kinect feature like Anniversary's Library. The big question would have to do with its multiplayer. The sad fact is that if 343 is continuing the Reclaimer saga, a Halo 2 Anniversary would probably feature updated maps for the current big Halo title, like CEA did with Reach. In this case, probably Halo 4, maybe Halo 5. I know I'm the perpetual pessimist here when it comes to Halo 2 Anniversary, but it's better to be pessimistic and be proven wrong than optimistic and be disappointed. Well. That's how I look at life, anyway. My final E3 prediction. A new ODST-style Halo shooter. 343 has an untold number of projects in the works, so I don't think it's impossible for a small spin-off title to be announced this year. I would guess that it would be set during the Reclaimer Saga, maybe acting as a Spartan Ops Season 2 or something, i.e. see what other Spartan teams were doing on Requiem. Maybe it will release after Halo 5 and bridge the gap between that and Halo 6. Whatever the case, I do believe that we'll have two Halo titles announced at E3. One will be Halo 5, the other is up in the air. Well, what about you all? What are your E3 predictions, expectations, and hopes? Let me know in the comments below. If you do, you could win some Xbox Live Avatar codes, courtesy of 343 Industries. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. As always, this has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time, Spartans.